Hi, I'm Jesse Campbell. I, like everybody else on the face of this planet, have a voice. Yes, audibly. Uh, and myself, I use mine melodically to create and perform music and speak. And, and we all have an opinion, uh, an expressed um, attitude. And at one point, not too long ago, I had to tell myself what I wanted to be, what I wanted to do. And maybe you want to do and to be something different or something more. Well, this is for you, and it's not going to take a long time. So, I didn't sleep well last night, and here's the reason why and what prompted this video. My daughter and I, we had a very busy last two days. She's a part of this model United Nations summit. And uh, oh, and baby girl got a 4.0 baby. Yes, yes, a proud daddy I am. So I just had to throw that in there. Uh, yeah, I, I, I opened up her report card and I'm used to her having all these A's and then I saw some B's. I'm like, oh my God. And she's like, daddy, those are honors classes. Oh, oh, okay. So but anyway, so uh, I, I just, anyway, I love being a dad. So last night we get in really late and she fell asleep on the couch. So what do I do? I go play some video games. I did, I did. And I had so much fun. I was throwing grenades and blowing up stuff. It's a guy thing, you know. But I dreamt about that mess all night long. I did. And I woke up and I'm like, man, I feel horrible. But then I thought about it. My senses were telling my brain what it wanted to know. And so to the point where even when I wasn't thinking about it in sleep, my mind was still in war. So I'm like, this is incredible. My brain is such a sensitive but yet powerful sponge. So why don't I tell my brain what I want it to know? Because none of this stuff is real to my brain. It's just electric pulses that's received via the senses. So I was like, well, I'm going to tell my brain what I wanted to know as far as what I want to do, where I want to go this year, and so forth and so on. So maybe you want to do something different. Maybe you want to be great at what you do. And if that's the case, then I encourage you to tell yourself that I am great. I am this. I am that. Doing this or that. In the morning when you wake up, uh, let it be the last thing when before you go to sleep and throughout the day. Day on your lunch break, your breaks, take a few moments or minutes to meditate and visualize that thing. And then get some understanding about that which you desire. Read some books and, and study it, research it. And, um, and when your mind gives you an idea of an action, follow it. Because everything around us began in the mind um, with the thought of someone, you know. And get this, the mind is the central station for divine operation. So whatever you think and feel about, you're going to bring about. So with you thinking it and speaking that thing and you getting that understanding about it and with you following the actions, it will do one of two things. It'll either get you to where you want to be or it'll get you a lot closer than where you are right now. Oh, I'm a living witness about that thing. So if you know of someone who's successfully doing what you desire, get their autobiography and or follow them if they're on social media and, 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 and let that thing manifest and keep it to yourself. You know, because when we're having challenging times, we share because we lighten that load. But when you're working on something good, keep it between you and the creator until it's created. And then you can have a greater voice. So uh, love and light. Peace.